Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking a Balkan blend pipe tobacco for the first time, which I will admit I am quite excited to do, as I have heard some more positive things than not about Balkan blend pipe tobaccos. I have heard that they have a pretty unique taste to them. I don't know if I'm going to like that taste or not, I will admit, but nonetheless, I certainly am quite excited to experience that taste for the first time in today's video and to let you guys know what I think of it and whether I like it or not. And just simply put, in general, I am just excited to try a new blend of pipe tobacco that I've never tried before, and I certainly am just looking forward to letting you guys know what I think of Balkan blend pipe tobacco just based off of this one experience as well. But I do suppose I should probably first off talk about what a Balkan blend pipe tobacco actually is. So what is a Balkan blend pipe tobacco? Well, unlike the name implies, it is not a blend of pipe tobacco that originates from the Balkans, as much as I hate to say that. A Balkan blend of pipe tobacco is instead a blend of pipe tobacco that generally contains a mixture of Virginia, Oriental, Turkish, and Latakia tobaccos in that order due to blending emphasis with the blend containing the most Virginia and least Latakia from what I've heard at least. However, even though Balkan blends tend to contain the least Latakia out of all of the other tobaccos, they still more so than not have an overwhelmingly Latakia-like taste to them. And that is because Latakia is a very, very, very overwhelming and flavorful tobacco that tends to taste a lot like smoke. And so as such, that is the main overwhelming taste that I am expecting from this tobacco right here. Now, Balkan blend pipe tobacco is very similar to some other more common blends of pipe tobacco, specifically English blend pipe tobacco. And English blend pipe tobacco contains a lot of the same components as Balkan blend pipe tobacco, including Latakia. However, the difference between the two is the blending emphasis on different tobaccos, from what I've heard at least. However, the line between an English blend pipe tobacco and a Balkan blend pipe tobacco can certainly become blurred at times, but they are two different blends, but they are very, very, very closely linked, to say the least. That's pretty much what a Balkan blend pipe tobacco is, though. But what is the Balkan blend pipe tobacco that I'm going to be smoking in today's video? Well, today I'm going to be smoking some of the original formula Balkan Siseni Balkan blend pipe tobacco, which is a blend of pipe tobacco that was made as an ode to a legendary pipe tobacco that is no longer made. The pipe tobacco I'm referring to is the Balkan Sobrain original smoking mixture. And sadly, that blend of pipe tobacco is no longer manufactured. But since it's no longer manufactured, a lot of different companies have hopped onto the bandwagon of making different blends that are copycats or matches or are just simply inspired by the Balkan Sobrain, and this is one of those. I've seen the point argued that Balkan Sobrain is the original Balkan blend pipe tobacco, that it is what gave Balkan blend pipe tobacco the name it has, and I've heard that Balkan Sobrain is what defined Balkan blend pipe tobacco as Balkan blend pipe tobacco. I've heard that it's what made the Balkan blend pipe tobacco mixture what it is today. It really is a very, very, very legendary pipe tobacco that is for sure. And I certainly am quite excited to see just how good the tobacco that is supposed to be an ode to that legendary pipe tobacco. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how good this stuff is actually going to be, that is for sure. And I have heard better things than not about the Balkan Siseni online, to say the least. People say it isn't the exact same as the Balkan Sobrain, but of course it's not going to be. It's meant to be an ode to the Balkan Sobrain, not an exact copy. 
This though, just like the Balkan Sobrane, contains a mixture of Virginia, Oriental, Turkish, and Latakia tobaccos. And overall, I am expecting it to have a very, very, very smoky flavor. But what are all of my expectations in specific? Well, taste-wise, as said, I am expecting it to have a more overwhelming than not smoky flavor to it. However, I am expecting there to be some other flavors in there as well. I don't know exactly what they're going to be. I know the blend also contains Virginia tobacco and Oriental and Turkish tobaccos, but I'm not sure how emphasized those tobaccos are actually going to be. I'm not sure how distinct the taste of those is actually going to be. And so as such, I think I'm just going to leave my expectations taste-wise on just a very, very, very smoky taste with something else in there. That's what I'm going to leave my taste expectations at. I'd have to say roughness and smoothness wise, I have heard that this stuff is definitely a little bit lighter than not. And so as such, I am not expecting it to be super rough by any means. Although I am expecting it to be very flavorful, of course, I'm expecting a very full bodied flavor, but not a full bodied roughness. I'd have to say nicotine wise, I am expecting this to be very much a medium tobacco. I'm not expecting it to be a super heavy tobacco nicotine wise by any means or anything like that kind of thing. And I'm expecting it to smoke uh, better than not as well out of the tin just due to its cut. This is a loose cut tobacco or so it says on the uh, back of the tin. I think loose cut just means ribbon cut and so as such, I'm expecting it to smoke hopefully better than not right out of the tin. But those are my expectations for the Balkan Saseni Balkan Blend Pipe Tobacco. And so as such, now without further ado, I do suppose I should probably, first off, before I get the tin all cracked open, take a look at the packaging just real quick. After I go over the packaging, I'm going to go ahead and get the tin all cracked open. Though I'm going to go ahead and smell the tobacco, show you guys what it looks like and everything like that kind of thing. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this stuff right here in my Missouri Meerschaum Legend. That is brand spanking new. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and tamp it down with my check pipe tool. And then after that, I'm thinking I'm probably going to take a little bit of sip of water. And then after that, I'm probably going to go ahead and get it all it up. And I'm probably more than likely going to go ahead and smoke some Balkan blend pipe tobacco for the first time. But first off, as said, we got to go over the packaging of this pipe tobacco right here real quick. And I will admit, I like this packaging more so than not. The packaging, just like the blend itself, is very much an ode to the old Balkan Sobrain. And it does have a very, very, very similar color scheme. And the design on the front is very similar as well, but it's not quite exactly the same. We can see right here in the center, there are, well, I do suppose like top center, it's not quite right, right in the center kind of thing, but like I do suppose top center, right here in the top center, we can see there is a black rectangle with a border of white going around and then a gold border going around that. And all of that has curved edges, which is pretty nice if I do say so myself. Inside the black rectangle, we can see a bunch of white text along with a gold line in the middle right here that has a very nice metallic sheen to it. We can just see it just says original formula, Balkan, Saseni pipe tobacco mixture right there, which is of course the variety name. And then behind the uh, foreground, the details of the actual like name and blend and everything like that kind of thing, we can see the background of the packaging and the design on the background of the packaging. We get a very, very, very nice white background, I definitely have to say, with a uh, pretty good looking sort of metallic gold border going all the way around it, but the white doesn't stop there. It continues on past the uh, gold border, but the uh, design itself does stop at that point. We can see though, there's some mountains going on to the, to, into the distance and everything like that kind of thing. Those mountains have some shading to them, which looks pretty nice. They have some valleys and some rifts in them and everything like that kind of thing looks pretty cool. And then we can see there's like a little bit of a town right here. And then there's a tobacco field going from the town all the way to the foreground of the background. We can see some tobacco plants right here here on a little bit of a hill and then we get to see a guy pulling a uh, pulling a, a horse along that's pulling a cart and everything like that kind of thing I assume that is going to be full of tobacco very 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 soon very nice look if I do say so myself we can see there is some black text right here it just says Saseni London and New York and there are four dots above that text right there 
and then under that text it just says net weight 1.76 ounces or 50 grams and overall from a distance the uh blend of pipe tobacco definitely more distinct than not and in my personal opinion this is a more unique look for a blend of pipe tobacco than not as well i think it's pretty distinct from a distance and it is very obviously a balkan so brain inspired pipe tobacco just due to the look of the packaging this is very 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 similar look wise to the balkan so brain and so looking at it from a distance you can just instantly tell that this is a balkan so brain ode copycat match whatever you want to call it kind of thing it is very obvious that this is a balkan so brain uh, match or just a balkan blend pipe tobacco in general from a distance which is pretty nice if i do say so myself and i think it has a pretty distinct look on the shelf and i think uh overall more so than not this packaging looks pretty good and it definitely does have a more high-end look to it than not the background due to its lack of color has a really nice simplistic look to it even though there's a ton of detail going on and everything like that kind of thing and i love that detail the detail yet simplicity that the background of the packaging has along with the metallic gold and the black right here and everything like that kind of thing it all comes together to make a very nice look that i really am a much bigger fan of than not let me just put it that way and i'd have to say that this is probably one of my favorite looks for a uh, blend of pipe tobacco that I've seen so far. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. I do like how this packaging looks. Let me just put it that way. And I would love it if I could find a cigarette pack that looks like, uh, like this packaging right here. That would be pretty cool if I do say so myself. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan that is for sure. That's pretty much all I had to say about the front of the packaging though. So now let's go ahead and go over the back real quick. And we, see, we can see the back. There's no really main design on it or anything like that kind of thing. It really is very much just an informational back of the packaging that is for sure. We can see the barcode up here above the barcode in black. It just says um, Balkan Saseni right there. Then under all of that, it just says made in Denmark, imported by the Scandinavian Tobacco Group, Lane LTD, Richmond, Virginia, 23223 USA. Then under that, it just says Balkan Saseni. Tobacco selection uh, is the choice, uh, the choicest of uh, Macedonia and Latakia leaf with the richness of old Virginia tobaccos. So the Macedonia would be like the Oriental and the sun's getting in my screen. So the Macedonia would be like the, um, the Oriental and Turkish tobaccos. The Latakia is the Latakia and the Virginia is the Virginia, of course. And then it says that the tobacco cut is a loose cut. I take that as probably a ribbon cut, if I had to guess. And then it says the flavor and aroma is hints of smoke and spice. Uh, the size is 1.75 ounces or 50 grams. And then the uh, body is apparently a three. The aromatic taste is apparently a two. And the room note is a four. I don't know if that's on a scale of one to five or one to 10. I have absolutely no clue in all honesty. It does not clarify that. Then under all of this informational text right here, we can see, what is this? This is a Prop 65. Yeah, this is, this is a Prop 65 warning. Just says sail only loud in the United States. And then there's a Prop 65 warning under there because California is lame, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to the background of this packaging. And uh, these two labels, both on the back and the front, are all on a very nice gold tin. Certainly no complaints on my behalf about that, that is for sure. Before I go ahead and get this cracked open, though, I just want to go ahead and see if I can smell it through the tin. And I can. I can. This uh, I've been able to smell it through the tin for as long as I've had this. I've had this tobacco for a little bit over a month now, I want to say. And every so often, I just pick it up and smell it. And it smells very, very, very intensely through the tin. Um, out of all of the uh, pipe tobaccos I've bought, this one smells the most intensely through the tin, which is pretty amusing if I do say so myself. I've actually gotten in the habit of keeping it away from all my other pipe tobaccos and everything like that just because it smells that intensely through the tin. Pretty crazy if I do say so myself. But the smell I'm getting through the tin is not as intense as it was when I was uh, like... Um, uh, like back home and everything like that kind of thing and it was just sitting on my shelf I definitely do think that the breeze has whisked away some of the scent just a little bit but the scent is still very much more so than not a a sort of burnt rubber smell it's very much a burnt rubber smell I definitely have to say very much like burning rubber like if you're at the at like the drag strip or if you're at like a car show where they're doing drifting or something like that kind of thing and the smell of burnt rubber is uh going into your nose yeah that's what this smells like this smells like burnt rubber I ain't gonna lie y'all I don't know if I'm gonna, if it tastes like burnt rubber, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but uh, I'm looking forward to finding out that is for sure. I'm gonna go and take a little bit of a sip of water real quick. 
And now, I do suppose I should probably go ahead and try to get this tin all opened up. See, okay, it's not gonna pop open that easily. Not that easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my check pipe tool I have right here to just kind of try to crack it open just a little bit kind of thing. Might have to use this little thing in my bob right here to try to crack it open. Let's see if I can get that to work. There we go. Oh, there's a little bit, a little bit of air just came out. I just, uh, or I heard a little bit of air come out and everything like that kind of thing. Let's try to wiggle it up just a little bit on the other sides as well. Is definitely opening, opening uh, new pipe tobaccos. Oh, there we go. There we go. I just broke the seal. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. There we go. I've got it all open now. Definitely opening pipe tobaccos. I am not the best at yet, but I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. That was a lot easier than my first ever time trying to open a, a tin of pipe tobacco. That is for sure. Now that I've got it all open though, let's go and get the lid all off. And wow. Yeah. Very, very, very intense sort of burnt rubber smell right off the bat. Let's go ahead and get this piece of paper just kind of peeled back real quick just so we can actually take a look at the uh, tobacco itself. So there we go. I'm just going to go and peel this all back just kind of like that so you guys can see the... I like that. This is actually pretty nice. I can just open up the tin and then I can just kind of fill it around and anything that falls just kind of falls back into the tin. Actually, that's really nice. I really like that. That's really cool. Huh. I really like that they had got this little little piece of paper right here kind of thing. It means I don't gotta get out my rolling tray or nothing like that. It means just everything falls right back in. That's really nice. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Uh, Lane Limited, uh, Scandinavian Tobacco Group. I do appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get this uh, piece of paper all off though, just like that kind of thing. I'm gonna go and scrape all of the tobacco that's on that piece of paper all off back into the tin. Of course, can't be wasting nothing, you know what I'm saying? Some of it is trying to run away. And this is, wow, this is very, very, very hard packed, much more hard packed than I thought it was going to be. That is for sure. I might need to use my, uh, this is like really hard packed. I was wondering, I was kind of shaking it next to my ear before this video. And I was kind of wondering why I wasn't hearing any shaking or something like that kind of thing. I was expecting to hear some shaking like I hear with some other pipe tobaccos, but I was hearing no shaking. I was like, wow, well, it's got weight to it. So I know there's stuff in it kind of thing. And I bought it from a reputable establishment. So I know there's something in it, but, uh, there's no shaking and well, the uh, hardness of the uh, tobacco certainly does explain the no shaking. But like this feels like um, this feels like like those playgrounds where they've got like the uh, the rubber flooring on them kind of thing. It feels like that. It feels like that, and it it smells like that too. <laughs> it smells like like the playgrounds with like the bouncy like old tire rubber flooring or something like that kind of thing. Where it's kind of like I, I would much rather have wood chips kind of thing. This kind of feels and smells like that, which is pretty hilarious if I do say so myself. The blend itself is a pretty nice combination of both uh, pretty light and pretty dark tobaccos with a decent amount of medium tobacco in there as well. Pretty nice look as a whole, if I do say so myself. We can see a bunch of light tobaccos like right there and a bunch of like dark tobaccos like right there. And there's a then there's a bunch of like just sort of medium brown tobaccos in there as well kind of thing. Pretty nice looking tobacco, if I do say so myself. And just smelling it once again as well. I'm very much smelling that burnt rubber sort of smell, but I feel like it's kind of gone away in intensity just a little bit. And now I'm picking up a sort of different smell as well, but I'm not quite sure what that smell is. Yeah, it's like burnt rubber and I feel like Virginia, I think is the most pronounced tobacco in this blend, I'm pretty sure, so. I'd have to say it's sort of um, like a, yeah, I think like a sort of like tangy, almost fruity scent along with that, uh, along with that sort of burnt rubber smell, I think at least. Yeah, I'd have to say that's accurate. It's sort of a, a sort of like tangy, almost fruity sort of scent uh, along with that sort of burnt rubber smell. And I would assume that that would be the, uh, well, Virginia uh, blend tobacco in there, the Virginia tobacco in there. Um, but I do suppose now, without further ado, now I've talked about the look and the taste and the packaging. I should probably go ahead and get some of this all out so I can actually get some in my uh, Missouri Mirror Shaman so I can actually get to smoking. I guess loose cut is a different thing from a uh, ribbon cut because uh, I do suppose ribbon cut would have been kind of been all around in this, whereas this is very much, this is like a cake. This is like a cake, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Like, dang, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to scoop up some. Oh, there we go. All right, okay, it just kind of all came up at once. There we go, I just kind of... There we go. 
So I just kind of scraped it up and it just kind of, yeah, it's just kind of, oh, they just kind of mashed it in there and that's why. Okay, yeah. So it's very much more loose. There we go, there we go. And now that I actually have some in my hands, it feels, I'd have to say, a little bit moist, a little bit moist for the stuff that's not at the top, I'd have to say. A little bit dusty as well. A little bit moist, but I don't think it's too moist by any means. I've definitely gotten more moist of pipe tobacco out of a tin before. And I think that this is probably right at about the uh, perfect uh, moisture level for smoking out of a pipe, so I certainly cannot complain that is for sure. And now that I've cracked the, uh, the little cake on top kind of thing, the smell is a little bit more intense once again, and we're very much back to that pretty intense burnt rubber with that same sort of like almost fruity, citrusy sort of smell in there. I want to say, I could be wrong, but the aroma is pretty nice if I do say so myself. I'd have to say, yeah, like smoky with hints of spice kind of thing, but it's a sort of like fruity spice, I'd have to say. Very interesting, very interesting. It's uh, very similar, yet a little bit different uh, than what I would think based off of the description on the back of the packaging. I'm going to lie, all I'm just going to go and take some of this and I'm just going to kind of just uh, spread it out just a little bit kind of thing so it's not all bundled together when I'm trying to get it all in my pipe and whatnot. But now that I have done that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Missouri Meerschaum and I'm going to go ahead and just start putting some of this tobacco in my pipe just real quick kind of thing. Just like that kind of thing. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm dropping a little bit. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. Gonna just drop it on the table. I'm just throwing it back in. And there we go, just like that. I've heard you really do not want to, I've heard with Balkan blends, you don't really want to uh, compress or like pack it too tightly. I don't know how much truth there actually is to that, but I will listen to that warning and I will not pack it too tightly by any means. So I'm just gonna pack that just like that kind of thing. And I'm gonna go and grab a little bit more now. Just gotta spread some of this out just a little bit more kind of thing. That cake on top, definitely. You just got to kind of crumble it up afterwards and everything like that kind of thing. They definitely pressed down on that. That is for sure. When they were putting it all in the tin, they were like, all right, this stuff ain't going to fit. We got to press it down kind of thing. We got to press it down really hard. And that's exactly what they did kind of thing. Let's go and grab a little bit more though. There we go. Just grabbed a little bit more just like that kind of thing. I'm going to go and put that in the pipe as well. And I think I'm going to go ahead and grab just a little bit more as well. Just kind of grab some of the bits that are already crumbled up. Just kind of shove it in just like that kind of thing. Grab all the bits and pieces that fell on the table, throw them all back into my tin. Maybe getting my rolling tray out would have been a good idea anyway. And let's uh, press down just a little bit harder now. Not super hard though by any means. There we go, just like that kind of thing. And now I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more. There we go, just like that. And I'm just gonna put that stuff on top go just like that throw some of the stuff that fell on the table back down and I'm gonna press this stuff down the hardest that has been the packing method that works pretty well for me so that's what I'm gonna do in today's video but I'm still not gonna pack super hard by any means kind of thing just harder than I did the last two because I'm trying to be careful not to pack this stuff too tight I heard I don't know how much truth there is to this I said but I did hear that Balkan blend pipe tobaccos can give you a sort of icky taste if you pack them too tight and once again the Sun is getting in there. I gotta move my camera over once again, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've heard that Balkan blend pipe tobacco can give you a sort of icky taste like halfway through the smoke if you pack them too tight. I'm not sure if that's due to just the smokiness just building up so much. I'm not sure if that's due to maybe Balkan blend pipe tobacco has more tar in them than some others. I'm not sure in all honesty, but I'm heeding that warning nonetheless and I am uh, being a little bit more careful than not, that is for sure. But now that I've gotten some uh, tobacco in my pipe, I do suppose now it is time for me to go ahead and fold this paper back up just like that kind of thing. Definitely not gonna be as neat as when I first opened the tin, that is for sure. And I'm just gonna press that all down very hard once again, just like that kind of thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the lid, and put that on top and just kind of shove it down and twist just like that kind of thing. And there we go, all back together. You know what I'm saying? All back together. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I do suppose without further ado, before I go ahead and get this all lit up. I should probably take a little bit of a sip of water. I should have probably brought out a little bit more water with me, I will admit, but it is what it is kind of thing. Hopefully it'll be all fine. That's why I only took a little bit of a sip of water, not a chug of water, I will admit. I'm gonna go and shove the paper piece in my backpack as well uh, before uh, the wind whisks it away. Can't be littering or nothing like that kind of thing. And now I do suppose, without further ado, I think, I, I think I'm all good to now go ahead and smoke Balkan blend pipe tobacco 
for the first time. Well, as I'm sure is obvious, I certainly am quite excited to do this. I certainly am quite excited to smoke some Balkan blend pipe tobacco for the first time in today's video, that is for sure. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how the original formula Balkan Saseni actually is, that is for sure. But I do suppose, without further ado, I should probably go ahead and get this all lit up. Now, shouldn't I? As I can't smoke Balkan blend pipe tobacco for the first time if I don't actually smoke it after all. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to smoking and see how it actually is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and just pack this down. Those were my uh, charring lights. And uh, my charring lights, they were pretty good. They weren't bad, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So I'm just gonna pack that down just a little bit. I could have probably put a bunch more tobacco in there, I will admit, because now that I packed it down, it's probably only actually about half full, but I'm really not stressing about it in all honesty. Without further ado, let's go ahead and do my actual light now. Oh, excuse me. That wasn't because of the smoke. That was because I got a little bit of spit caught in my throat. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't coughing because of the smoke. It was just the spit. Right off the bat, though, very smooth. Very, very, very smooth. I've been smoking um, a decent amount of uh, Virginia Perroque uh, tobacco lately. This stuff is so smooth when compared to that stuff. Let me tell y'all what. This stuff is so smooth. And the taste I'm getting right now, as a base level, as just an overall descriptor, is very much a smoky, spicy taste with some floral elements, I'd have to say. A smoky, spicy taste with some floral elements, which is quite surprising. I've never really had... I've had, like, one or two tobaccos where I'm like, this tastes kind of floral. This tastes really floral, though. Like, like you just walked into a flower shop kind of smell, but it's a taste. Which is kind of odd if I do say so myself, but I'm not complaining. Yeah. The smokiness is not overpowering at all. I mean, like, it is the main taste for sure. But it's not super overpowering. And this is not like it's a a super sweet blend, but you can definitely tell the Latakia itself does not have any sweetness to it. It is very much an unsweet tobacco, I definitely have to say. Very smoky. But it's not so overpowering where you can't still taste the Virginia tobacco, where you can't still taste the sweetness of the Virginia tobacco. And then I don't know if it's the Virginia or if it's the Oriental Turkish tobacco. But there's also a, a sort of mild floral taste in there as well. I'm kind of thinking it's probably the Virginia tobacco, just simply because that's kind of where the sweetness is coming from. And I'm thinking that the Oriental Turkish tobacco might just be in there to kind of mellow it out, mellow it out just a little bit. Not exactly sure, I will admit. Nicotine-wise, right off the bat, definitely not a super heavy blend. Definitely not a super heavy blend. I will admit, when I first started looking at the Balkan blends, I had the perception that they were going to be, like, really heavy blends of tobacco, like, nicotine-wise and strength-wise, and, like, I was thinking they were going to be, like, super smoky, super heavy on the Latakia, and my perception was completely wrong. Balkan blends are generally not known to be, like, super strong pipe tobaccos, and um, they're also not known to be the most heavy on uh, Latakia either. That would be Latakia blends and then English and then Bal Balkan blends. With Latakia blends, of course, having the most Latakia and then English and then Balkan, which is pretty amusing if I do say so myself. 
Because when I think Latakia, I think Balkan Sobrain. That's what I think. But um, it's not supposed to be the most intense Latakia blend of tobacco ever, which is quite interesting. I think it's gone out. It's gone out. That is what it is. So far, though, this stuff is scrumptious. Like, initially, I kind of got, like, a sort of, um, like, stomach acid taste. But that was just when I was lighting. And I'm not getting that taste anymore. I'm not getting any of that taste anymore. It is some good stuff. And it is burning all the way to a very nice white fine. Um very fine uh, ash as well. Very, very, very nice. Very satisfying ash, that is for sure. Just going to pack that down a little bit, and let's go and get this lit up once again. <coughs> so far, though, my first experience with Balkan blend pipe tobacco is good. I've only tried uh, two other uh, blends of pipe tobacco with Latakia in them, and I have to say, out of those two, this is probably my second favorite. Uh, the first of which being the um, Peter Stockaby English Oriental Supreme, which has Black Cavendish in it, which gives it a really nice sweetness kind of thing. This, though, is almost as good as that. It almost as good as that. The third one, I'm not a big fan of, I will admit, but I think it's going to grow on me. Gonna grab a screenshot real quick. Had to grab a little bit of a screenshot, you know what I'm saying? Had to do it to him. I will admit, though, no, this stuff is, is pretty great. Um, the taste is not pronounced except for the smoky taste, but there's definitely a taste in there, and it's taking me some time to really determine what the intricacies of the taste are like, but there's definitely a floral taste in there. There's definitely a very smoky taste in there, and it's a nice taste as a whole. I really, I really like the taste of the stuff. This is some good stuff. Um... You know, I, I see why, I mean, like, I know this is just, like, an ode to the original Balkan Sobrain. It's not meant to be an exact copycat kind of thing, but it is meant to be more similar than not. And if the Balkan Sobrain really did taste anything like this, you know, I see why it was such an, an, an a, a completely, I see why it was such a completely um, legendary, I see why it was such a legendary pipe tobacco. Um, I totally see why, yeah. This stuff, not bad at all. Very, very, very smooth on the retro hill. Very, very, very smooth on the retro hill. So smooth. So much smoother than I'm used to. As said a little bit earlier on in the video, I've been smoking mainly Virginia Peroke um, pipe tobacco recently. Mainly Orlick Golden Sliced. This is a nice break from that, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I got a little bit sick of it. Uh, it was just, I've been just smoking it too much kind of thing. Um, but uh, this stuff is so much smoother. Roughness-wise, so much smoother. Retro hail-wise. Um, tongue bite wise, there's so much less tongue bite as well kind of thing. I mean, like I smoke, I smoke a little bit quickly. I ain't gonna lie. This stuff though, gives you like no tongue bite. This stuff is, this stuff is easy to smoke. You can smoke it too fast and you can smoke it a little bit too fast and it doesn't hurt you kind of thing. And the taste doesn't really degrade either kind of thing. It's some good stuff. Yeah, not bad at all, not bad at all.
Wow. All right, so in the next couple minutes or so, I'm gonna go and try to start describing the taste, the actual taste of it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and real quick give you guys kind of my initial thoughts on Balkan Blend Pipe Tobacco, or at least on this specific variety right here. And my initial overall thoughts are, it's really good, it's really smooth, no tongue bite, and it tastes fantastic. Those are my overall initial thoughts. This, this, this stuff is good. I really like this stuff. Balkan Blend Pipe Tobacco, it's some good stuff. It's some good stuff, let me just put it that way kind of thing. And I will admit, I don't mind Latakia, I don't, but when it's too heavy, it's too heavy for me kind of thing. I can't see myself. I've never tried an actual like Latakia, Latakia blend with like tons of Latakia kind of thing, from my knowledge at least. Um, I'll have to try one in the future. I don't expect to like it though. But since the Latakia in this is the lightest I've ever had, I'd have to say, um, the taste you get from it is is very, very, very nice because you're still able to taste the undertones of the Virginia, of everything else, and it's more distinct than not. To say the least, I like this blend of pipe tobacco, and so far, I'm a fan of Balkan blend pipe tobaccos. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. I think it's gone out. Yeah, it's gone out. I'd be talking for too long, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was about to start talking about the taste, but I'm actually going to give myself a moment to do that, uh, just simply because uh, I kind of want to get like the full description in my head. But now that the taste has been building up in my mouth for a, uh, a couple moments, for a couple minutes now, I'm starting to get a good idea of what the taste is actually like, and it's really nice. It's really nice. I really like it. I'm a fan of the taste, to say the least. Uh, excuse me. This side of my nose is a little bit stocked up. Still some smoke going through though. Not as much though. I could hear the crack, uh, tobacco crackling just a little bit on that last hit. Interesting, interesting. And yeah, it really, really gets down to a very, very, very fine white ash. I don't know how I can see that, but it, it does. It does get down to a very, very nice, fine white ash. Very nice. Very dusty ash. Did it go out again? Dang. It did. Wow. I should have pro pro probably put more in my pipe. I ain't gonna lie, I should have probably put more in my pipe because I'm feeling like I'm starting to get towards the end and I, <laughs> I haven't spoken nearly as much as I want to. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Mm. This is my tactic for, for, for getting my pipe lit up when it's a little bit breezy out. Put that over. It looks a little bit stupid, but it works. There we go. Got him. A little bit of roughness on that last light, but nothing too much by any means. What is the taste of... Balkan blend pipe tobacco I actually like though. Well, I'd have to say the main taste is very much a salty sort of smoky taste. A, a smoky sort of salty taste to say it precisely kind of thing. But the smoky sort of salty taste, it, it doesn't quite 
taste like any smoked meat I've tried before. I've tried like another, oh, uh oh. My phone says it's on 20%. I should probably, I should probably plug it in. I've got some batteries with me and everything like that. And I think so I'm gonna go and do that real quick. But uh, the taste does not quite taste like any sort of like smoked meat I've had before kind of thing. I've uh, had Latakia before and I was like, wow, this kind of tastes like uh, venison. Uh, maybe it kind of tastes like smoked beef jerky, but not really kind of thing. And I think that's because of the undertone. It's more of just a smoky taste than anything. Uh, it doesn't really have a sort of like, and like it has a meaty undertone to it, but it doesn't quite taste distinctly like any meat I've tried before. And I think that's because of the undertone to the smoky taste. And the undertone to the smoky taste is very much a sort of sweet, sort of um, semi-floral taste, I'd have to say. Um, and that's pretty much all that's going on in there. There's really not too much else going on, I will admit. But it's a really nice taste as a whole. Ah, why not again? Bruh, Bruh where's my lighter at? I was talking there and plugging in my phone just for a hot minute, though, I will admit. Good to know that next time I uh, smoke this stuff, I gotta make sure I pack it probably a little bit tighter. <laughs> probably put a little bit more in there as well kind of thing. But I got off topic. The taste of this is very much a smoky taste, a smoky salty taste. It's very much a smoky salty taste. I'd have to say, hmm, what is the right way of kind of describing the smoky? It's not like a campfire taste per se. It doesn't smell like wood. It doesn't taste like wood. It's more like, um, like a, like if you're grilling like dried, cured, salted meats, kind of like that kind of thing. Like if you were um, smoking prosciutto, let's say, or something like that kind of thing. Kind of, kind of smells more like that. I'd have to say, kind of smells more like that, or it smells more like that. Tastes more like that. Very much a sort of smoked, sort of salty, dried meat sort of taste. Not distinctly any one meat, but definitely sort of a, a salty, dried meat sort of taste. Sort of like a, a very, yeah, a very nice sort of smoky, dried meat, salty, dried meat sort of taste. Really nice. That's the main overwhelming taste. And then the undertone... is very much a sort of, more so than not, mildly sweet floral undertone. It's very much a mildly sweet floral undertone. Like if you walked into a flower shop or something like that kind of thing, and you smelled the sweetness of the flowers kind of thing, that's very much how it tastes. That's very much how it tastes. It's unlike any other taste I've had from it. I've never really gotten a floral taste from a cigarette before, I will admit. Or maybe I just didn't realize it was a floral taste. This is the first time I guess I'm ever realizing that I'm getting a floral taste from a, from, from a tobacco. Never gotten a floral taste from a pipe tobacco before, I know that for sure. And I don't feel like I've ever gotten one from a cigarette either, but I could very well be wrong. It wouldn't surprise me in the least.
you know, that was the taste I'm very much getting. The main taste is very much a sort of smoky, salted, dried meat sort of taste. Not super overpowering. I mean, like, more overpowering than not, it is the main taste after all, but it's not, like, completely, oh my goodness, this is the only taste kind of thing by any means, because there is still an undertone in there from what I feel like is probably the Oriental tobacco, and then the sweetness is probably from the Virginia. That's kind of what I'm thinking, at least, if I had to guess. I'm thinking that that sort of floral taste is probably from the Oriental Turkish tobacco, and it's a very sort of mild taste that I can tell is very much milding, milding out the entire sort of um, taste and feel of the blend and everything like that. Kind of gives, 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 it, gives it a very nice mouthfeel as well kind of thing. And then that sweetness is from the Virginia, I'd have to say, kind of thing. So yeah, the main taste overall is very much a sort of smoky, salted, dried meat sort of taste coming from the Latakia. And then I'm thinking I'm getting a sort of floral taste coming from the Oriental and Turkish tobaccos. And then that um, that, Orient, that, that uh, floral taste is a sort of sweetness added on to it um, from the Virginia tobacco, if I had to guess. I'm not really tasting any sort of like citrusiness, maybe the tiniest bit, but not a significant amount, not really much to actually talk about, I will admit. Although if I do notice more in the future, I'll talk about it, but I don't feel like I'm noticing any. Definitely getting used to smoking this stuff, though, that is for sure. I got to relight it once again. But, um, yeah, yeah, no, really good, really good. Definitely not, like, it definitely doesn't, like, have the most depth to the taste in the world. Definitely not, like, the most depth I've ever gotten from a pipe tobacco ever or anything like that kind of thing. But it's still a fantastic taste, nonetheless, that I, that I really, really, really like. And um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I think Balkan, if every Balkan blend pipe tobacco is is somewhat similar like Latakia strength wise to this one and it has other like different interesting tastes as the undertone I'm gonna be a fan I'm gonna have to try more um the Balkan Saseni I like it I like it people online they were dissing it they were like it's not like the original Balkan so brain it's not meant to be the original kind of thing it's an ode it's an ode it's not meant to be a match it's not meant to be a copycat it's an ode to the original kind of thing it's not meant to be exactly the same but I I'm mean, like I haven't tried Balkan so brain um, I have a tin of it. I need to crack open. I will admit I got a tin of it from the 1970s. I need to crack open. Um, but I wanted to try this stuff first. And um, I mean, like, this stuff's good. I don't know if the Balkan Sobrain is that much better kind of thing. But um, I mean, like, this stuff's good. I like this stuff. So I can't complain. Not bad at all. Interesting taste. Different taste than normal kind of thing. Yeah, what I heard was that Balkan blend pipe tobaccos have a pretty interesting taste kind of thing. This one at least very much does. This one at least very much does. It's a very, very interesting, unique taste. The blend doesn't have the most depth to it ever, but the taste itself is still fantastic, and it's very much a blend that you can just sit back, smoke. You don't got to think too much about kind of thing. I think this would be, honestly, a good all-day smoke. I think you'd smoke it first thing in the morning. I think you'd smoke it at lunch. I think you'd smoke it last thing at night kind of thing. This could be a very good all-day blend in my personal opinion. It's not too heavy. Nicotine-wise, I'm feeling very nice, very relaxed right now. Definitely. I've been getting a very nice sort of mildly, uh, m mildly uh, strong, m m not mildly strong, just a very nice mild sort of um, pipe tobacco sort of uh, buzz, I'd have to say. And it's been really nice. Been feeling very relaxing all the way through this video, but very good taste, very nice feeling, not super heavy by any means kind of thing. Um, very smooth as well. Very, very, very smooth. Not overwhelming at all in any way, shape or form, roughness wise. It's just really easy to smoke. The main, the main overwhelming thing about the tobacco is the smell. The smell is overwhelming. The smell itself is, and like, it's like, it smells like burnt rubber and like some, I guess, now that I'm thinking about it, floral scents in there as well kind of thing, but the smell itself is not great, but the taste is pretty dang good. I don't know what the room note of this would be like, but I imagine probably not the greatest. I'm gonna go and just compact this down. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, light it back up once again. You know what I'm
There's something else in there as well, though. Now that I'm thinking about it. I had a little bit of palate refresher a couple moments ago, if, you, if I remember correctly. I think I took a little bit of a sip of water now, didn't I? I can't remember. Um, it feels like there's something else in there as well, though. That salty sort of taste along with the floral. Salty, smoky, salty taste along with the floral. And there's something else in there. It's almost like mm, caramel. No, not quite. Not quite caramel. There's some other taste in there as well. Had that little bit of a palate refresher. It's definitely been very useful so far. Because now I'm noticing another taste. Well, I gotta admit, a Balkan blend pipe tobacco is impressive. I've really been enjoying smoking this stuff. It is some good stuff that is for sure that I am really enjoying. I like it. I like it to say the least. It's some good stuff. I can't complain. I can't complain. That is for sure. I'm going to go and see if I can try to figure out what that other taste is, though. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, that's why it was reminding me of caramel. Okay. It's sort of a, a sweet apple taste. Oh, interesting. Okay. And now the Virginia is coming through more intensely. Interesting, interesting. Okay. I think I might have been smoking it a bit hot earlier because now I'm tasting a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. Still, the main taste is very much that smoky, salty, sort of smoked meat sort of taste with that floral undertone that has some sweetness brought to it by a sort of, now that I'm noticing, sweet sort of apple citrusy taste. And that citrusy taste also leads into the saltiness as well. It doesn't make it sweeter per se, but just makes the saltiness a little bit more intense, I feel like. Interesting to say the least. Interesting. Yeah. Sort of smoky, salty, floral, apple-y sort of sweet taste. With the sweetness leading into the floralness and the citrusiness of the apple taste kind of making the saltiness more intense uh, in the uh, smoky taste. Interesting. Yeah, citrusy apple. Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. There's more depth to the taste than I than I than I realized. There's much more depth to the taste than I realized. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was thinking the taste was as I was saying when it was uh, when we were at like the 40 minute mark. Um. And now I've now I'm noticing more to the taste. Just the more I smoke it, the more I'm noticing. Wow. This stuff is impressive. I like this stuff. This stuff is good. Yeah. It's good stuff. Definitely one of the more interesting pipe tobaccos I've ever tried. Very much to my preference. Very much to my preference. I really like it. I could definitely go for a little bit more of a sort of sweetness, I will admit. A little bit more sweetness would be nice, but, you know, almost perfect. Almost perfect. It's really good. It's really good. This stuff is fantastic. I really do like the original formula, Balkan Saseni. It is some good stuff, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Excuse me.
And definitely as you continue to smoke it too hot, I think that's probably why I wasn't noticing the apple taste. The sort of citrusy apple taste. As you smoke it hot, the taste does not degrade too much. It doesn't really get any rougher when you're smoking it hot. But you do definitely lose that sort of citrusy apple taste just a little bit. The sweetness from that citrusy apple taste very much still comes through to the floral taste. And the smokiness becomes more pronounced. So there's really not too much of an effect if you smoke it too hot. But definitely, if you smoke it a little bit cooler kind of thing, you're going to notice more intricacies, that is for sure. Which, of course, makes sense as this is just kind of how smoking tobacco usually works, at least. And for some reason, I'm now, right now, having a massive feeling of deja vu. I've literally never sat at this table before. Literally never. I've always sat at that one over there. Always that one over there whenever I'm making a video or just chilling or something like that. Always that table over there. So I'm feeling a, a massive feeling of deja vu right now. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm feeling a massive feel. I've never smoked this stuff before. I've never sat here before. I've never made a video about Balkan blend pipe tobacco before. Never even smoked out of this pipe before. This is a brand new Missouri Meerschaum, or it was until I started smoking out of it. I don't know why I'm feeling massive deja vu right now, but I, I really am. I just had the most massive feeling of deja vu. That's weird. I think this is just about done though, I will admit. I think I've pretty much smoked it to fruition. I think I'm gonna light it one more time. And then after that, when it goes out, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on this experience on Balkan blend pipe tobacco um, and on my thoughts of trying it for the first time and whether I like it or not. Uh, and then after that, I think I'm gonna end the video right there. So I'm gonna go and get this lit up once again. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just smoke it for a little bit until it goes out. And then after that, I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Ah, well, that didn't take very long, now did it? <laughs> that didn't take very long, now did it? Yeah, I think this stuff is pretty much smoked to fruition, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead. It's pretty much tamped all the way down as well. Yeah, I think this stuff's pretty much dead. I'm gonna go ahead and just get this uh, little tool right here out, and I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape it all out and see if there's actually anything left. And there was... It was all charred. So this is all pretty charred. It wasn't all ash, per se, but it was all pretty well charred kind of thing. There really wasn't much going on. There really wasn't much going on, I will admit. There was a little bit left, not much. Not enough to have been a significant amount to actually smoke, I will admit. So now it is time for me to go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on my first time ever trying Balkan Blend Pipe Tobacco. So, what do I think of Balkan Blend Pipe Tobacco after trying it for one time, only one time? And what are my final thoughts on this specific Balkan Blend Pipe Tobacco right here? Well, I like Balkan Blend Pipe Tobacco. It's some good stuff. It's some good stuff. I really like that the Latakia is not as intense as some of the other pipe tobaccos I've tried before. I really, really, really love that. I love that. It is not nearly, I mean, like, it's still the main taste for sure, but it's not nearly as pronounced. It's not overwhelming. I'm still able to taste the other taste, and I got, like, a floral and a, a sort of apple -y, sort of citrusy taste from this pipe tobacco. Really good. I really like it. Yeah. This stuff's damn good. Balkan blend pipe tobacco. You know, I'm going to have to try more in the future. I really like the fact that it's not super heavy on the Latakia. I really like that. And I'm definitely going to be trying more heavy Latakia, more Latakia heavy blends in the future, to say it correctly. I'm definitely going to be trying more of those in the future. But right now, at least, my taste might change in the future, but right now, at least, I really, really, really like how light the Latakia is. I really, really, li really like that. I really like that it's not super overpowering kind of thing. That is something I really like. And, um... Yeah, I'm a fan of this stuff. I am a fan of this stuff, to say the least. I, uh, I like Balkan Blend Pipe Tobacco. That is for sure. Initially, at least, kind of thing. But I'm thinking, as I continue smoking the rest of the t this tin, I'm probably going to continue to like it just as much. And I think that this is something that would be pretty easy to smoke all day. And you could probably smoke it pretty routinely, too, kind of thing. I think it's got an interesting enough taste, yet a... Um, I think it's got an interesting enough taste, yet a boring enough taste where every time you smoke it you're gonna get a really nice taste kind of thing but you're not gonna be getting a super different taste every time so it's not gonna like throw you off or something like that kind of thing but it's gonna be a different enough taste every time or something like that kind of thing depending on how you pack and stuff um 
that you might get a little bit of a different flavor each and every single time. You might notice something a little bit new each and every single time kind of thing. So I think it would be pretty good to smoke on a routine basis, that is for sure. But, um, well, now I'm not just talking about my final thoughts on Balkan blend pipe tobacco. I'm also just now talking about my final thoughts on the Balkan Sassani uh, original formula. Um, so I do suppose I should probably go and clarify that real quick. Well, my final thoughts on Balkan blend pipe tobacco after one time of trying are much more positive than that. I really, really, really like it. I really like that the Latakia is not super heavy. That is so nice, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But what are my final thoughts on the Balkan Sasseni original formula? Well, I really like the taste. The taste as a whole was very much a smoky, salty, sort of uh, cured meat sort of taste um, with an undertone of sweet floral, and the sweetness of that floral undertone is coming from a sort of sweet citrusy apple and the citrusiness from that apple made the saltiness of the smokiness a little bit more intense i feel like at least really nice taste as a whole really fantastic you smoke it too hot you lose that last little bit of undertone the apple sort of undertone but the other two are still very pronounced in their kind of thing really nice taste as a whole if i do say so myself S roughness and smoothness wise very 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 smooth I had almost no roughness the entire smoking experience kind of thing. The only time I coughed was because I got spit caught in my in my uh, in my uh, throat, not because I I needed to cough because of the smoke or something like that kind of thing. And some of the tobacco I've been smoking lately, I'm like smoking, I'm like halfway through, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to cough kind of thing. It's just rough kind of thing. This stuff, on the other hand, very 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 smooth, very 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 enjoyable. I will admit, um, nicotine wise, not super heavy by any means. I was really nice, really relaxed this entire time, but it's definitely not the heaviest tobacco I've ever had. In fact, it's actually one of the lighter tobaccos I've ever had, I definitely have to say. Definitely not super heavy nicotine-wise, but still very, very, very enjoyable. And it's still got a good little bit of nicotine in there, that is for sure. Enough to make me happy. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. Taste, fantastic. Roughness and smoothness. Very smooth, really like it, especially on the retro hill. Very smooth on the retro hill. Um, nicotine wise, a little bit light for my personal preference, but still very good nonetheless. Just enough to make me happy. And um, overall, pretty good, pretty good. I couldn't detect. I don't know. Maybe the floraling or the maybe maybe the floral or the apple was uh, sort of like added or like taste tape or taste or something like that kind of thing. Maybe it was like an added flavoring. I'm not sure. I couldn't really notice any added flavoring. I will admit. Um, Room note wise, I didn't really smell the tobacco as I was smoking it either, I will admit. Um, but I don't feel like it would be very good to smoke in your house kind of thing. I feel like the smell would probably stick around for longer than not. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. But still, an absolutely fantastic pipe tobacco blend. I really like this stuff and I'm going to be most certainly enjoying smoking the rest of this uh, Balkan Sasseni. Uh, I'm certainly going to be smoking the rest of it uh, pretty quickly, more than likely. I'm thinking uh, anytime I want something a little bit smoky, I'm probably going to be smoking this stuff, that is for sure. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I certainly am looking forward to smoking the rest of this stuff and um, seeing what I think of it after I finish the entire tin, that is for sure. Well, to summarize, I really like Balkan Blend Pipe Tobacco. My first time trying Balkan Blend Pipe Tobacco has been a very positive one. And um, I really like the Balkan Sasseni as well. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I think that's all I had to say though. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried Balkan Blend pipe tobacco before. If you guys, even if you guys haven't, let me know what y'all's thoughts are on Balkan Blend pipe tobacco uh, in the comments down below. And if you guys have tried Balkan Blend pipe tobacco, let me know which ones you guys have tried, what you guys think about it. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not kind of thing? Do you guys have any recommendations for the next Balkan Blend pipe tobacco I should try? Let me know in the comments down below. But, uh, and I said, even if, you, even if you guys haven't tried Balkan Blood and Pipe Tobacco, just let me know what you guys think of it based off of this video. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Of course, uh, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my uh, second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.